So we put the Turbo T badge in the back. Uh, also, too, let me lower the trunk. I'm gonna lower the trunk a little bit. And there's no spoiler. Remember. The Hey, welcome to Peanuts Automotive Adventures. That's Peanut, I'm James, Peanuts Automotive Adventure, where every day is an automotive adventure. Y'all know what time it is, Team Run It. Y'all know what time it is. Uh, but before we get into today's video, give an official shout out to our official sponsor, thegraphicspotva.com. The .com. Reach out to them for all your graphic needs, promotional items, custom graphics, graphic design, decals, hoodies, tumblers, tumblers personally engraved tumblers for your business or personal all that y'all reach out to them man they can make it happen i'm about to get down on one knee because this is you know they can make it happen y'all so reach out to them next sponsor innovative powders yep. reach out to them right there where peanuts pointing at innovative powders reach out to them for all your powder coating needs also i heard through the grapevine that innovative powder is going to start seracoting so we're going to have to hook up with them yeah. peanut and get those headers for the um for loonies right here our drag car cerakoted yeah. so you know reach out to him team running he does great work any color you want big or small he can get it powder coated for you today's video is going to be on of course loonies because we got the trunk open and all that good stuff loonies that's our 1987 buick turbo t we4 car right yeah. one of 1547 right there behind us and of course, we got another WE4 car in the garage in, in the Honeycomb Hideout. Uh, it's a T-top WE4 car. Yeah. So we got two out of the 1,547 ever produced in 1987. So we're going to go over it, uh, talk about it a little bit with Team Run It, and show y'all some things. If yeah. you're ever looking for a WE4 car, uh, talk about some little things like that. Give y'all some information on a Turbo Buick, a special Turbo Buick at that. Some people don't think it's so special, and we're going to get into a discussion about that, too. But let me go ahead and turn this video I mean, turn the, turn the camera around so y'all can see what we're talking about. Yeah. All right, when you're looking for a WE4 car, first thing I always look for is right here on, I don't know if y'all can see it, the SBID label should have WE4 on it, and this one does. See it right there? WE4 should be right here. Hold on. See that W4? We4? That's, that's how you know you got a true Turbo T. Yeah. You don't have a clone. True Turbo T. Also, you want your VIN number to match the SBID label too, y'all, team running. So don't forget that. Don't forget that. Of course, this is our drag car. It's a W4. A lot of people think that it's a Buick Grand National. But it's a W. But w it's a W4, w right? Yeah. And the reason... I always point at, well, it got Turbo T badging over here. Let, let's show them real quick. Yeah. Let's show them. It got Turbo T badging right there. right there. So we put the Turbo T badging back. Uh, also, too, let me lower the trunk. I'm going to lower the trunk a little bit. And there's no spoiler. Remember, the Grand National, there's no spoiler on the trunk, right? Let's raise this one up team run it here's the grand national which has a spoiler see the spoiler right there it has a spoiler so so that's how you know you know we4 car this is a hard top car um i really don't know maybe team running can help me how many of y'all think do anybody know how many of these came t-top yeah. because we got one out out in the honeycomb hideout we got a t-top true we4 car uh, like I said, that's our drag car. 
That's everything in there, and y'all know what it is. It'll be all put back together yeah. really, really soon. Really, really soon. Uh, what else, Peanut? Uh, how much did the uh, what's that thing called? Peanut got uh, look. Peanut got the. We ain't gonna lie to y'all. We got the product information for the W four cars right here, yeah. right? And I'm gonna have Peanut go ahead and read off some things, right? Yeah. Uh, how much did it cost the W four package? Uh, it should tell you right there on on the right side, right here. It should tell you right here. Hold on, where's it at? Uh, no, I'm wrong. It's on the next page, y'all. Hold on. Okay. Go to this page. And it should tell us right here. How much is that? $3,295 is how much the Turbo T package costs. But as y'all could tell, it was marked up from the dealership. There's all the information right there for the Turbo T package for 1987. Uh, let's see. Bucket seats. All that good stuff, y'all. Exterior sport package. W02 package. Air conditioner seat, Charlie 60, LC2, of course. Of course, you got to have an LC2 in there because that's the code for the 109 block for the turbocharged V6. So, let's go back. And, and also, I want to show y'all this date on this too, y'all. This is historical December, data right here. December no, 8th. Wait, hold on. No, no. This date, it, when, when uh, this product information bulletin came out, it was oh, November 15, 1986. November 15th. Oh for the Rego W4 Turbo T package. And what is it saying right there, Peanut? December 8th, 1986. That's when it was targeted for the market, December 8th, 1986. That's when they was like really trying to give it to us, even though I was only 10 years old. And I don't even think you existed yet, right? I did not. You wasn't born yet? I wasn't born yet. You wasn't I was born, born yet? in 2015. Yep, tell them again, you was born in when? 2015. All right, all right, that's good. That's good to know. So, also in this package, it gives you the differences between the Grand National and the Regal Special Turbo package. Also, right here, they're saying this is from GM General Motors Buick Division. This, uh, where is it at? W4 Turbo T package will en enable you to merchandise a car that is similar in appearance and yet lighter in weight than today's Grand National. This reduction in weight theoretically makes the Turbo T faster than a Grand National and for a lower price. That's going to make, make a lot of people mad. Let's yeah. talk. Uh, put put y'all here. Hold this for me. Put, put y'all comments down below on do you think the Turbo T was lighter than a Grand National or, or was it the same as a Grand National? You know, put it put it down there, right? Yeah. Put it in the comments. Tell them. Yeah. Put it in the comments, y'all. Right down below. Put them in the comments. Because GM is saying that the car was lighter, but a lot of people in the Turbo Buick community is saying that the car wasn't lighter than the Grand National. But I can only go by what GM General Motors yeah. say, right? That's all we can do. Go by what they say, what the engineers say. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We go by everything else when it comes to this car and this car here, the Grand National. So Turbo T is supposedly lighter than this car. But we know ours is lighter, and I'm going to give them a, a little hint why we kind of made it lighter, right? Yeah. First of all, I'm going to show them something, right? The crash bars was taken out of this car. There's no crash bars in the door. So it dropped a little weight there. Yeah. Dropped a little weight. And the car didn't come with roll-up windows, but it got roll-up windows, which is a little bit lighter than having the electric uh, motors, yeah. the electric windows, right? Which is also Yeah, so, so this car is a little bit It's just a tad bit lighter, not... Yeah. Then what we had, but how much did it weigh? I think it weighed, uh, when I went over the scales with me being at 230 pounds, this car, let me turn this around, y'all. Hold on. Let me turn. This car weighed, I want to say 30, 3,475. And that was with this filled up. This is a 10 gallon, um, fuel, uh, fuel cell. Sorry. I only got the camera around. But that's a 10 gallon fuel cell. I had it filled up with E85. Uh, with me going over the scales at the track, it was 3,475 and I weighed 200 and let's say 240 pounds. I weighed 240 pounds. I fluctuate between 230 and 240. Um, so who knows? And also the cage too is chrome molly. It's a chrome molly cage. So that, that was kind of a weight. Just a little bit of weight saving right there, putting the cage in. Yeah. 
Well, the car didn't come with a cage peanut, but, you know, just going chrome molly, we didn't want to make the car too heavy. It has an aluminum radiator. I wonder if the uh, aluminum, once we put that TO, TA motor in there, it might drop a little bit more weight. Once that TA block gets, uh, with the billet crank and all that gets uh, installed, I'm going to have to reweigh the car to make sure that I weigh over 3,400 pounds for TSM class racing. I have to weigh over 3,400 pounds because of now the TA block, but before it was because of aluminum heads too. So uh, that's about it, y'all. That's about it. We just want to go over. What else? What else do they got in there that we can discuss? Hold on. Let me turn this around and let Peanuts show y'all some of this paperwork. Right, Peanuts right here. Let's see what Peanuts looking at. We got the... Um, Turbo package, option code LC2. That's what I was talking about. Turbo T package right there is option code WE4. We just want everybody to know that. I'm not going to go over the options. Maybe that can be another video. Yeah. You know, go to the next page. Okay. Let's go to the next page real quick for me. I just want to see what's on it. Oh, here's a website for you guys, too, that we want to share. Uh, BuickWE4.com. Just go on there. It gives you, like, the history. It's an older website, but it gives you. Here, I can hold it for you. It gives you a lot of history yeah. of the WE4 cars. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I downloaded a lot of stuff off this website. Look at that. Bam. I got that hanging on the wall. This one right here? Yeah. Yeah, it's hanging yeah, on the, the wall in the garage right there. So, yeah. bam, we got that right there. Go ahead, Peanut. Keep showing us what we got. And that's the second. Suspension? No, no, that's the specs to the car oh. right here. So, y'all can download all this off that website, too. Yeah. Turbo T package WE4. Uh, go to the next page. I think that might be the last page. Yep, that's the last page. So that's the product information. Uh, let's go back to that blue page real quick. I want to share that that website again to Team Run It. That's the website, WE4.com, where I got all this information from. Uh, and go ahead, go to this right here. This is the options page right here that Peanut's going to go to. See, Turbo T package. It gives you pretty much all the options on a Buick Turbo T yeah. for 87. It was revised January 1st of 87. So, that's it, y'all. That's our Turbo T car right here. It's not a Grand National. It's a Buick Turbo T, one of 1,547. Um, what else? And I already went over where y'all can go look for it. It'll be right here your uh sbid or trunk label some people call this the trunk label oh what else do we got oh one one other thing too it has a totally different it has the all gray interior you know what i'm saying it yeah. don't have the grand national interior and also this plaque here is different too the dash plaque is different i don't know if y'all can see it or not the dash plaque is different what else we got that's about it y'all i'm gonna go ahead and close this out Close this video out, right? Oh, you still reading it, huh? See, Peanut's interested now. Look at him, he's gonna be knowing he's interested now. So, let me turn this around, and close it out. All right, team running, we're gonna go ahead and close it out. Yep. Hopefully, y'all get some, um, in, you know, benefit from this information that we shared. Yeah. We didn't share everything, maybe that can be a later video sharing some yeah. some of the options and all that that came with the yeah, W4 car. A different, video. different video, yeah, you right, yeah. you think so. Okay, it's going to be a different video, y'all. Peanut said so. But we're going to do our research, read up on things. Uh, I pretty much do know it, but I need a refresher. I need a refresher, and I need to teach old Peanut here, right? Yeah. You know, about the WE4 cars. It's not many of them out there, y'all. It's not many of them out there. There's also a Facebook group that's dedicated for them. I can't remember the name of the group, but there's a dedicated Facebook group just for WE4s. Um, I am a part of that group. I just can't remember. The name of the group, maybe it's Turbo T. Buick Turbo T is the name of the group. Who knows? But, hey, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification bell, right? Yeah. Hit that notification bell. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be bringing more Turbo Buick content and just all type of content, y'all. We're just bringing it. We're just going to bring it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, hopefully this information help you guys out when it comes to, like, the W4 car. But before we sign off, I just want to reiterate Please drop in the comments, do y'all think the Turbo T was lighter than the Grand National? 
per what GM is saying. Yeah. Buick division. General Motors is saying. So, hey, yeah. we're going to sign off. We've been babbling long enough. That's Peanut. I'm James. This is Peanuts Automotive Adventures. We out. Peace. Peace.